Whoa. Focus on my face, bro. What? Okay. Is it focused? I think it's focused now. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are all feeling well. Um, if you're in the UK and you're in the third lockdown with us, um, I really do hope that you actually are okay because I'm not. <laughs> you know, I've had enough now. I think we've all had enough. Um, the weather is not getting any warmer and I just thought I would make this video to um, just entertain myself really because I can't really go outside because it's cold and it's windy and mm -mm, no, not feeling it. So anyway, today's video is completely new for me. I'm really nervous about it. Um, I'm sat in front of a radio which is super hot. So. <laughs> anyway, let's get to test with you because see this, this, is, this top is sweat proof. Imagine if I could speak, that'd be fab. I'm actually going to be doing a whole video today and it's going to be for, uh, why am I doing? I can't sit here because I just look out the window. I tried to do it from another angle but all the lighting was off and you couldn't see me and it's just terrible. Um, so the brand that I'm going to be doing a little mini haul review for today is Lazuli Label and the reason that I chose them is because they're actually probably one of my favourite brands in terms of activewear because um, if you didn't know all wear is is gym stuff, they don't really wear anything else. Um, I've tried to watch hauls on them before, like before I'd ordered things, and there wasn't really too many. There was just, with the most information anyway, was the girls themselves that like obviously did the brand, like they did their own reviews and little try on hauls with the products that were coming out, and they were probably the most helpful. But other than that, I haven't really seen many, so I thought it was a good place to start. Um, so, Lazuli Label are a relatively new brand. They were made by, they were made? It was made by two girls. Um, while they were in uni, I think. I might be wrong, I don't know. Um, their names are Kate Asset, Kate. Oh. <laughs> the name, I tried to say Taylor, because her Instagram is Taylor Kate, but her name is Kate, I'm pretty sure, because that's what's on the little card anyway. So it's Kate and Sarah. Um, I'll put their Instagrams on the screen somewhere so you can see who where they are. Right, do you know what? At some point, if I could actually pronounce words, that would be great. Their brand is a couple of years old now, I think. I don't know the exact details of it. But they started off with just two pairs of leggings, I remember. And there was in less, slightly less sizes. So, I think they actually just had a small to start off with. And they had, um, I'll put the pictures on uh, the screen here as well. So, they had like a light pink and a pale blue, I think. So, I don't have any of those. Um, and the earliest stuff that like that's not recent <laughs> okay <laughs> so the earlier stuff um in the earlier colors which was released after those first initial ones i have some of that but i didn't buy it directly from them i bought it off um depop i think or depop how does everyone say that <laughs> i don't know um i bought them off there because I'd seen the brand on Instagram and they just happened to be sold out in a small, um, which is usually what I am across the board uh, in terms of gym wear and athleisure wear. Um, so it started off as just leggings and then some gym tops. They don't really do sports bras that I know of, like as in, you know, keep the girls in. Um, but they had like a couple of tops um, and then these air seamless leggings. And yeah, that's how I ended up loving them because I love those leggings, they're so comfortable but I'll get onto that in a bit. Um, and more recently they've done some tracksuits and they also have some dresses at the minute on the website. So yeah, it's kind of a cross between workout stuff and um, oh man, this looks so ugly without nails. <laughs> Anyway, go. Um, so it's kind of a cross between workout clothes and sort of casual wear comfies. So bear with me because I don't even know how I'm going to edit this. I, mean, I don't know how I'm going to hold. Uh, 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 God, I don't know how I'm going to. I don't know how I'm going to film the try on clips because I have no idea. And it suddenly decided uh, from when I started getting ready to now to go super cloudy outside. But yeah. So I don't really know how to do these whole videos, so bear with me if you are watching, and if you are watching, thank you. If you've watched any of my other videos, thank you for that as well. Um, this video is not sponsored, it's just stuff that I bought myself and like figured out um, through kind of trial and error and spending all of my money, because <laughs> what else is there to do in lockdown, um, on these clothes. And yeah, uh, it's all my own opinions, and I think I've just said it's not sponsored, but obviously it's not sponsored because... 
why would I be sponsored? <laughs> so I'm gonna start off kind of I'm gonna kinda of do it like chronologically. <laughs> God that was a bit good. I haven't tried this yet. I've got a protein shake. But it's clear weight and it's from my protein and this is a initial reaction because I haven't tried it yet. Oh my god. Right, sidetrack. Sidetrack? Side note. Side, side something, anyway. Um, so I've gone off protein with milk and I recently found my protein and they have a clear way and I know that's been out for ages but I've only just found out about it so bear with. Um, I've got the grape flavour. Has anyone ever had these chewing gums that they have in America and they come in a little tub and a little square cube? <laughs> little square cube things and the grape flavoured that's what it tastes like and I put two scoops in as well because I thought if it's going to be sickly it's going to be sickly with two scoops in it's like a sweet juice drink if you don't like sweet juice drinks stick with normal way but like the other flavors are great as well I don't know why I'm plugging this because <laughs> anyway going back to what we're actually talking about so the first one of the first things that I bought, and I did buy this of them, is their Nola, Nola? That's what I call granola, so when they say Nola, I'm like, food. Um, it's a Nola one shoulder top, and it's in white. So, this is the top. This is it in a size small, and obviously it's just the same on the back as well. Lydia Handmade. This top is uh, £20. It's still available on the website. I didn't check the sizes, which I probably should have done. Um, so it's from the deluxe range and why does my voice sound like that? Um, they've put in the par little paragraph underneath it in the description that it can be worn as active wear or paired with everyday clothes. This is probably true. I've only ever worn it um, to the gym or to for a home workout. I haven't worn it um, with any normal clothes because <laughs> we don't go anywhere. Um, because what now? Oh, obviously you know that. Just said that. <laughs> the top doesn't have a built-in bra, which it, it she, she's obviously saying there on the website. And they've said that it has good support, soft fabric, a label inseam, and the material for anyone who's interested is 88% nylon, 12% spandex. So. <sighs> Obviously the label is in the seam there, I think that's what they mean. It has a label here at the back, which I obviously haven't felt the need to cut out, so at least it's not itchy. Um, I have this in a size small, and I'll put um, me wearing it in a little try on clip at some point while I'm chatting away. Um, so, I find the material actually to be really soft. I don't think you can... I don't know how people do this. How do you do this? So it's just like a normal fabric, really, and it's super stretchy. Um really comfortable uh, they've said good support now I personally wouldn't say it has good support just because um, I like to do cardio I like to do sprints I like to do um, hit workouts and I definitely would not recommend for that and I don't exactly have like you know I don't have the biggest girls I'm not wearing a bra right now I don't have um, um, boobs <laughs> um, but yeah, all in all, it's a really cute top. I love the one shoulder. I've never seen any other brand with like a one shoulder sports bra before, apart from Bowman T now where you can lift the strap over, you know, if, you, if anyone's seen those. Um, but other than that, yeah, even that's got two straps really, isn't it? This is the only one shoulder, one strap top. Um, but the only thing that I would say is if you're like me and you're super pale and see-through and you like to wear tinted moisturiser or tan, uh, don't wear this top to the gym when you do because I've actually... I don't think you can tell anymore because I tried really hard to get it out. You can't tell. But it did have... Um, what was it this side? I think it might have been this side. What an idiot. I just showed you the wrong side. It can, can you get my head out? No. No. Nope. Right, okay, you can't see, but it had like, it does have like a slight um, mark from the tan that I was wearing when I wore it to the gym. And obviously in the gym, when, <laughs> when it first comes off, you kind of look like you've got day on. <laughs> did I do this video? Right, so the next item. <laughs> I can't deal with myself. <laughs> 
the next product from their um, website that I wanted to talk about is the Air Seamless Leggings. So the first ones they brought out were Air Seamless Leggings, but these were like the newer colours. They were from like the second launch? Second launch. I don't know terminology. Was that a big word? I don't know. Okay. Um, so the Air Seamless Leggings that I have, I have them in three colours. Um, again, I bought all of these off to pop, so the condition in some of them is not great because they're obviously second hand. Um, but I didn't trash them. <laughs> Just putting that out there, but also they don't come like this. So they have this charcoal colour. They have this one, which is... Oh god, I wish I had my nails done. Oh. These ones are berry and these ones... Hello. I'm just going to pick up Rebecca. Okay. okay. Alright, see you in a minute. That's my nana. <laughs> anyway, so I have charcoal. I have berry. <laughs> my jaw, then, when I said that. <laughs> and I have cyan. Um, so yeah, this is the colours next to each other. I think you can kind of see. Um, in this colour drop, they also had a car key, but I don't have those and I haven't been able to find any on the pop. Oh, actually, do you know what they also have? They have this colour called Orchid. If anyone has those and doesn't want them anymore, send them my way. I will pay you money. <laughs> or, you know, Kate or Sarah, if you see this video and you have a spare pair of size small Orchid leggings, send them to me, please. <laughs> I will show you them. Hold on. How insane is this colour? Come on now. Focus, don't focus on my face. Fucking get off my face. Oh my god, they're just so stunning. <laughs> well, they're available anyway. So, these are supposed to be super stretchy and solid coloured, which they are. Um, the ribbed base... <sighs> Here we go again when they're not being able to talk. The ribbed waistband offers good compression while, stre while still providing enough stretch. I would absolutely definitely agree with that. These leggings, um, they really do snatch you in at the waist. I always feel quite curvy when I wear them. Um, and also they are really stretchy like I have no issues getting into them I would say the charcoal is actually probably tighter fitting I don't know what it is with like darker colours but they always seem to like have less stretch to them does anyone else find that? the waistband is the same on all of them I don't know how many inches that is I guess it's four and you'll see on the try and clip where they start and end with me um, just for a little bit of a clarification I do pull my leggings up because I'm five foot three and if I pull them up I have a bit of ankle showing <laughs> but that ankle showing <laughs> god I can't do that. I can't do these videos <laughs> oh god um I forgot what I was gonna say now <laughs> I do like to have a bit of my ankle showing just to make me look like a little bit taller. Um, another thing that I do with my gym leggings is I pull them up my bum because, um, you know, I want my bum to look good. <laughs> and I'm an attention seeker. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, anyway, <laughs> so yeah, as you can see, super big waistband and it does come in. Oh, God. I like it comes in more at the top slightly. Not massively, just so there is a label, they would have had, like obviously I've mentioned before that these are second hand, but can you kind of see where the label was prior? Maybe the only thing that's not great about them is um, the uh, logo. The logo is rubber and it's quite a thick rubber and it lifts, it's like raised from the material, it's like not in it, if that makes sense. So can you see it here? I'm trying to like see, I'm like trying to peek around to see if you, you can see what I mean. So that's the label. Can you see it's kind of quite thick as well? No? Yeah, and then can you see how it lifts? So they tend to come off. Um, obviously, I'm quite careful with my gym wear. I wash it really cool temperatures, usually inside out, and then I don't dry any of it. And if it says hand wash, then I'll hand wash it. Oh, the label on these ones is a bit better. I think these were new off the girl that I bought these off. She didn't wear them before me. Um, so these ones are probably in the best condition out of the ones that I have. Um, and the only other thing that I've realised as well is um, in the under seam, in the gu gusset? Gusset. Is it a gusset? It's a gusset. Um, in the back bit of the gusset, and I don't think it's just me because, you know, everyone pulls their leggings on the bum. They have like, it starts to rip. Oh, God. How do people do this? Can you see? Can you see? Come on camera. Oh, there it is. Can you see? I have it in those pair. I have it in this pair that were second hand worn. Can you see how it's starting to pull and rip? 
and uh, now these ones are in pretty bad condition but I just love them so much so the label still survived on this pair but that bit that I was just talking about at the back oh god this is so difficult come on come on can you see it uh, uh, come on camera yep there in the middle but yeah obviously I hope you can see that they fit really well the length is really cute um, you can pull them up with bomb even though they don't have like the seam that obviously they're seamless leggings but you know how sometimes on Gymshark leggings they have that line down the back to like separate the cheeks they don't have that um, but it's still like you don't have a unibum when you wear them which you know is fab um, and then these are the only ones where the label has come off for me um, so I feel like one out of three isn't bad goings, but you know just just get it stitched in like I know it's probably more expensive and they are a new company but if you just got the um, like the logo stitched in I feel like it would save it falling off all the time Um, so one thing that I forgot to mention before about the air seamless leggings is that they are 36 pounds but I know they've got a couple of sizes left in online and I think they're like 28 pound 80 so if you're any of the sizes that are left I would definitely go and get some because they're super affordable um, and they're just a really good gym leg and you can wear them on any of the days um, I can't say personally that I have ran in them yet but sometimes I do sometimes <laughs> when the gyms are open I do the Stairmaster and I do sprints on the treadmill and I would definitely wear them for that they're not like too thick they don't make you too hot um, but I can't say I've like gone for an outdoor run in them or anything the next things that I got were actually things that I was bought for Christmas so I have some a lot of the Nola top so this is the so their names for their products are like what the fabric is called so the top before was called a Nola top this is called the Nola open back because it's got an open back but it's the same fabric so I have this colour here which I think is called oh that was good I think it's called Jasper it doesn't look as green on the camera as it does in person and then this is the bag can you see um, and it has the label on the back in the rubber again but it's not as thick so I feel like well I've only worn this one once but I hope that that wouldn't come off the same as the others get off my face the others wouldn't you know can you see how it's not <laughs> this is so difficult how do people do this uh, it's not as raised even though it's still like rubber and it kind of looks like it's been ironed or printed on it's not um, it's not the same as it is on the leggings so hopefully that one will last a bit longer um, and I also have this one in black which is you know black is black it's a staple really and to be fair you'll see it in the try and clips these look stunning from the back like they are so cute like I'm literally obsessed um, that's why I have three of them <laughs> So I have this colour here as well. So black jasper and this one I've just ordered recently when it came back into stock. Um, and it's called, what's it called? Muted mauve, which you know, you know. It kind of looks, to me, like in person it looks purpley, but this is um, kind of like a cherry reddy brown on camera. I don't know. I just thought this would look so cute. I have these beige jeans, right? And I thought it looked so cute with those as well. Here we are planning outfits. We've got nowhere to go. <laughs> Again, so it's from the Deluxe range. Um, it's the Nola fabric, as I've already said, so it's like super stretchy. Um, I have these in a size small. So again, this is saying that it can be worn as active wear or paired with everyday clothes. Um, so it doesn't have a built-in bra or anything. It doesn't have removable pads, as you can see here. Um, I just think it's such a cute top and it really would look cute with jeans. I'll make sure that I put on the try-on clips like with leggings for the gym and also with um, jeans just to see what it looks like. Um, so obviously they said that you can wear them with normal clothes as well so this is the top with one of the tops with the Nola open back top with a pair of black jeans and just some docks and yeah I mean it just looks like a long sleeve crop top really doesn't it this lighting is horrendous um, well it's gone dark now so there's not really much else I can do and I can say yeah it's kind of cute I like it so it says good support now like let's talk about this so what is good support because good support to me you know recently I seem to have a bit of boobage from somewhere don't know where it's come from nothing's changed in my life um but yeah I seem to have a bit of boobs at the minute and I had a sports bra on doing hit in the thingy and I did not feel supported and I would definitely not do 
any hit, any like jump squats, jump lunges, I wouldn't do any running, I wouldn't do any sprints, I wouldn't do what else, skipping, anything like that I would not do in one of these tops without a sports bra underneath. So I wouldn't say that they have good support, I would say that the fabric is tight um, and that it does keep the girls in but and obviously oh, my arms up. it's not coming up while I'm sat. So you could do like upper body in them as well I guess but I just wouldn't say that it's, I wouldn't class that as good support, like good support to me is medium to high support in terms of like a sports bra and everything moving around. Um, but as a normal top, then yes, good support because it's not like if you was going to wear a baggy t-shirt with your jeans and they were going to be swinging. <laughs> so, yeah, the fabric, they put soft sab... <laughs> soft sab... <laughs> soft fabric, that I would agree with. The label's in the seam, so it's in the top at the back. And again, I haven't cut these out on mine. So I've worn the black and the Jasper for a workout in the garage. I think they were both leg workouts. The black top is sweat proof. I couldn't see any sweat patches, but in the green one, I definitely could. As I said before, I'm sat here in front of a radiator and I don't think... Oh, I have. Not there. Look, I can fake it. <laughs> but here, obviously, you can see that I have some <laughs> sweat patches. Um. So if you are someone who like maybe sweats a lot, they're not sweat proof. And if that like if that's a, if a, if it's a problem to you, it might not be a problem. Um, obviously when I wear them to the gym, I don't care. Um, right now I just don't care because I'm at home. But like if I was going out to a meal and I wanted to wear one of these tops, I wouldn't want to have sweat patches. But that's just my personal preference. Um, so yeah, if you sweat patches are something that bother you for the gym, probably just get the black one. Um, if they're not because like who doesn't go to the gym expecting to get sweaty um, because I definitely do <laughs> health that's disgusting um, yeah just if you don't like sweat patches it might not be the top for you so um, just because I missed this bit out before the price of the NOLA open back tops is £25 um, yeah so I got these sculpt sculpt seamless leggings <laughs> Come on now. I'm, I am ridiculous. This is so good. Anyway, so for Christmas, I also got um, two of the Sculpt Seamless Leggings. So these leggings are designed to have like more ribbon, more compression and um, give you a bit more shape and yeah just achieve other things which i'll read off my phone in a second so i got them in i think it's black are they black shadow it's called shadow so it's kind of a it's not like a full black does it say that it's marl yeah okay so it says on the on the details it says it's actually a marl color so let me see if i can get this to work this time I would have proven throughout this video I'm not good at this. So I'm hoping it's focusing. Oh, there you can see. Can you see how it's kind of got like little stripes of lighter and darker colour through it? Um. So anyway, yeah, that's the shadow colour. And then this colour is called Yale, which is like a super royal blue. Now these colours to me are just <sighs> love it. Literally, I love them. I love them so much. Yeah, I just wanted to interrupt this haul um, because I forgot how much I love these sculpt seamless leggings. And they're definitely in my top three pairs of gym leggings. Uh, obviously, I haven't really tested many of them out, but just to wear and just to feel. They're just great. They're just the best. I just love them. I'm wearing them now. I've just tried the blue ones on and I just can't, I just can't deal with it. I can't deal. These leggings, again, are £36, as I said before, um, which I still think is super affordable. And considering they do so much more for you, like, general, like, support um, in terms of your legs and body and so on. Um, I think it's such a ridiculous price, like seriously, like I would pay more money <laughs> for this sort of leggings. So, I'll read the description to you. So the girls have said, these are the newest line of leggings designed to uplift, sculpt and shape. Now, as you can see from the try-on clips, they do exactly that. They uplift everything, they sculpt everything and they shape everything. You want curves? Put these leggings on. You want your bum to look like you've got a BBL? Put these leggings on. You want to look like your thighs come look like like they don't just like mine do? Put these leggings on. Anyway, so they have a ribbon detail around the upper thigh and the waistband, which provides um, ultimate flattering 
compression. I think this waistband is like the same height as um, the previous leggings. So the waistband is ribbed. Again, I love, love a ribbed waistband. Um, and the other thing, oh, these blue ones, these are marl as well. Can you see? Ooh, can you see? Get me head out of the way. I hope that you can see. I think you can see. Um, so there is a lot more ribbon on these. There's a lot more shape to them, which you should be able to see on the try and clips as well. Um, obviously, the ribbon comes under the bum as like sort of a contour, uh, which is great. And it also has tiny bits on the ankle, so that's the front. And that is the back. So those are the bits where it basically squeezes in, so keeps the leggings tight at the bottom of your ankle because who wants baggy leggings on the ankles no not me i don't want that you might want that but you do you boo um then this bit is probably the best bit like my favorite bit it's the most difficult bit to get on but at the same time it's so good for cellulite coverage so if that is like an insecurity of yours and you don't like um like showing cellulite in the gym then i would definitely recommend getting these leggings because there's so much texture to them <sighs> Did you I just said that? so much texture to them that it literally just covers it up um, and also it like pulls it in as well so that's fabulous and also on these leggings as well they have uh, come on they have the line of the bum can you see it please please just focus just focus they have the line of the butt can you see it it's right here so it separates the cheeks even more uh, the label is the same as these Nola tops. It is rubber again, but it is much thinner. Like, it doesn't lift as much at all. So, I'm hoping that these will stand the test of time. Oh, that made me feel ill. Um, I also would buy the other colour, but I'm trying to just, you know, stop buying clothes. The next things that I ordered were actually from the recent launch. So, as I said before, they restocked this Nola open back top. And I just absolutely love the colour of it. Like, I just it's so cute such a nude neutral tones and i feel like those are so in at the minute um so i'm just going to talk about the packaging because i can't remember what the old packaging was like but this time it came in these bags uh little clear bags with the label on label logo imagine if i could get anything right that'd be great and then also um it has a little bag and it just says uh what it was and what size it was now i know that's obviously for them more than it is for us but don't you just love like when the bags are labeled that you get things in and you know exactly what goes in what bag because my <laughs> ocd was sending things back i want if i'm sending something back i want it to be perfect and then if it's in the right bag i'm happy that might be weird comment below if you do the same thing because i have no flipping idea <laughs> And then also this time, which I thought was a super cute touch, you got this little card, um, and it just says, thank you for your order. All the items were dined, dined? All the items were designed by us in the UK. Hope you love your new pieces and we appreciate your support. And it's signed Kate and Sarah. Um, and I just love, I love stuff like that because it's so personalised. But the other things that I have um, from this launch is I got the tracksuits. So I got the hoodie. I got the hoodie in oatmeal and I got the joggers in oatmeal um, and I'm also wearing the joggers in, oh god look how white my ankle is, the joggers in mocha. Oh, that was so pale my ankle then. <laughs> anyway, I think I'll talk about them first or what it says here. So the joggers were £45. Now I know what you're thinking, £45 for a pair of joggers. Opoly are the same, um, or Bow and Tee for their collections, their joggers are expensive and I feel like if you want a good jogger you're going to have to pay some money for it. Like I have the ones that were available on Twi <laughs> Pretty Little Thing and they were £20 and they are literally, they're comfy, don't get me wrong, they're comfy, they're baggy, I love them, they're a casual jogger and I will buy them again but literally straight away they started bobbling, they started piling, the material started going funky they obviously have no shape to them and i think there was a thing on twitter where they're from fruit of the loom also so that probably explains it like, why they're so like cheap so but these joggers and the actual tracksuits themselves they've been designed to be unisex so the first things that i noticed when i got these is it was a really heavy package um so i think that the material is super thick and cozy and it's actually non-pile 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 i don't know I don't know which one it is um but th that's literally probably going to be the case i haven't washed them yet and have kept the labels on because again i'm not sure on the sizing but i'll explain later 
Um, so it has the side pockets, um, the drawstring waistband isn't just like a cosmetic thing. Um, so yeah, it does actually tighten the waistband for you. Um, it has ribbed ankle cuffs. Um, that's about the label. The material is 50% cotton and 50% polyester. Um, now, these colours, again, stunning. Literally stunning. Like, I love the colours. I love the nude. I'm into all the nudes at the minute. Um, I have wanted a tracksuit for a long time and that's why I bought it. Um, now, the only thing to me is... And I think you can see from the trying clips on when I lifted my leg just then. Is that one of the girls, Kate, is 5'2", I think. Um, and they made sarah's boyfriend and sarah's tall as well i can't remember how tall she is sarah's boyfriend is like six foot six foot one and he was wearing a size small and they fit him like they he said he would prefer a medium fair enough but this was on like a story um but he fit in a size small and the model on the website is a male that's wearing a size small so i thought well i'm five three and i have the same similar measurements to kate in terms of my glutes like which i think she's over 40 inches and i'm probably just about there or i was just about there before the gym was closed um so I thought, oh, well, I'll go with those sizes and because they look oversized anyway. When I've got them, and I don't know if you can tell in the trying clips, but I don't feel like they look that oversized and I'm not sure whether to keep them because I kind of wanted the oversized look. So it's probably my own fault for just presuming that that's what size I would be. But obviously I have, the, I have those leggings in an extra small as well. So I thought that would be about right. Um, but then again, it doesn't actually say in the item description that they are oversized. They just kind of looked it on them. So I probably should have sized up and I don't know whether I'm going to keep them. Um, but I had these in the oatmeal colour and I have them in the uh, mocha colour as well, which again is a gorgeous colour. And I think these two together, they're just so cute, you know? Such a cute pairing. I just wanted to jump on again really quick. Look at me interrupting myself all the time. Um, this is probably my favourite outfit from the haul. I did wear it to um, chat away in. But now that I've put it back on again after everything else, I definitely, I'm so in love with these colours, literally. I think they're so stunning. They're just such nice... Oh, I don't know. I've got a thing for browns at the minute and I don't own anything brown, so I'm super happy. Oh, we've got our chins. <laughs> Is that everything that I wanted to say? Are you at my door? Beck? What? You've been listening to me. No, I was trying on my new satin pants. Oh! <laughs> Can't see you. Come here. Come on. Come on, give them all They are pyjamas. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ow, I'm not going to top on you. <laughs> Bye. Anyway, not from Lazuli. Don't know where they're from. Satin pyjamas. Uh, that's my other sister. She's not been on the tube yet, but here she is. <laughs> Why do I keep calling it that? Honestly, guys, if I say anything cringy, ignore it because I have no flipping idea where it comes from. Um. So, where are we up to? Um, yeah, I wish that I got a small in the joggers. I think I don't know what I'll decide after I've seen the try on clips and I'll put an updated message on what I actually think of them um, The the quality of the material is ridiculous like it, it's so nice. It's so thick. It's so soft inside and out It's even softer on the inside than it is on the outside. I wonder if you can see Obviously you can see so you can just see here. It's that super soft fluffy material there the I love these things, right? I don't know what they're called, but you know when they have like a metal bit on the end of the drawstrings? I just love that. So I can't actually see the logo on the joggers, apart from inside. The logo is on the hoodie. I can't see one on the joggers, but maybe that's just me being an idiot. If I find it, if I find it, I'll let you know. <laughs> But um, the logo for the hoodie is at the top in the back and it's stitched in. We love that. I love that. I'm here for that. Um, and this, again, um, I personally wouldn't wear this sort of track to to training at the gym. But uh, I would definitely wear it as like a casual thing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do about the jumper or the hoodie or anything yet. I'll see how it looks on these triangle clips. But I don't know. I just think it looks a bit small on me. And I also think that the way that the trouser part to the joggers comes off the waistband looks weird. So I'll try and show that as well. Um, but I think that's just because of the sizing. Um, I think I've just got the wrong size there. Um, but yeah, I would dress this up with like a coat. I've got a really cute coat that I got for Christmas that I'll wear it with. And my docks I think would look cute. Um, and I've also got some nude trainers as well. Or white trainers, which I think would just look 
super cute and I'm not like a fa I'm not a fashionista you know I'm not a trendsetter but I feel like if you go all the nudes how could you go wrong so this is kind of how I was thinking I would style it like an oversized jacket and there's my docks you know I don't know I don't know if it's the tracksuit and it's not oversized enough or if I'm being stupid or if I don't know, maybe I'm not a tracksuit girl. Let me know what you think in the comments because I have no idea. Um, you could probably wear them to work out and they are super warm though. Um, but again, it's just everyone's personal preference, like whatever you want to work for, wear it for babes. That's it. Um, I hope the try on clips are okay. I haven't seen them yet because I haven't filmed them yet. Um, but I hope they go in well with this video and if they don't then I'm really sorry. I'm super new to this and I just kind of do it on the weekend when I've had a stressful week at work and I just want to do something fun, you know? So I guess um, if you are going to try anything I would definitely recommend trying these sculpt seamless leggings just to have that sort of feeling of like being pulled in. I love the air seamless leggings. I love um, the tracksuits. I would love to get a dress but I just don't have anything to wear it for at the minute. Um, oh did I tell you how much the hoodie was? So the joggers are £45 but the hoodie is 46 So it is an expensive tracksuit but again I feel like with these things you get what you pay for. You know, um, if you want it to last long, if you want it to be durable, if you don't want it to pill, then you need to pay a bit more money for it. And in this case, you know that you're paying for quality and not for the name because it's such a new company. You're paying for the quality of the product. So yeah, that's what I would try from there if I were you. These are probably my favourite tops. They are super cute, even though they're not sweat proof. Um, and the tracksuits are super comfy. I've sat here the whole time in these joggers and I actually really like them. I would just recommend the brand in general. I've never had any problems with them. When I returned things and ordered them in new sizes, the money was returned fine. I haven't spoke to Kate on Instagram a couple of times that I've messaged Sarah. She's been super responsive and super thankful for anything that I've ordered. Uh, I wish them all the success in the world and I just think it's such a lovely brand and if you want to support a UK brand that's like quite new and small, I would definitely recommend buying from there. Um, if there's anything in this video that I've missed out that you would like have any questions for, message me on Instagram or comment below. And if there's anything that you would like to see in the next video, if I ever do another whole one, which I'm not sure if I will, because this has been stressful. <laughs> um, just let me know because obviously the more information I can give you guys, the more questions that I can have answered um, straight from the off is like obviously better. Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for watching this video, if you made it to the end especially. Hello, hi, we're still here. Um, and I hope that you're all safe and well. I think I said that at the start, but I'm going to say it again because I do genuinely hope that you are. Yeah, just thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!